Hello, my name is Taylor. I want to show you the process of building a dry laid stone wall. You can follow with me as I show you the progress of the 240 foot long dry laid stone wall that my company Solid Masonry is currently building. This is a dry laid stone wall which means that no mortar is used between the stones. There are a number of benefits to dry laid stone, one of them being that the wall does well in cold weather. This particular wall is being built near Canada's capital, which sees a lot of freeze and thaw throughout the year, which means that the ground is going to heat. But with no mortar between the stones, the wall can move, resettle when the ground thaws, and there won't be any issue with the wall after all that. Versus if there's mortar, you'd have cracks within the mortar, you need to repoint it and constantly repair it. Related to the first benefit of the dry laid wall is that it requires very little maintenance. With no mortar in the wall, there's no repointing. This particular wall, as you can see, is built beside a busy road. During the winter, there'll be a lot of snow and a lot of salt from the roads, and therefore a lot of water, ice, and salt that will get into the wall. That would deteriorate a normal mortared wall very quickly. But since this is a dry laid wall, any water can flow through it, and salt will have minimal damage since it will also just wash right through the wall. Typically, you can estimate that. Um, dry stone wall will last 40 years before it needs small amounts of maintenance, but with some regular maintenance, the wall can last centuries. Dry stone wall is built up of two layers of stone. You have your outside base stones on both sides of the wall, and in between you have your hardy, which are small bits of stone which are used to infill the spaces between the two faces of the wall. The outside face stones are the nice looking stones in the wall. What's important is that there's a nice tight seam at the face of the wall, a close connection between the stones to lock them together, and that's where the pressure will be on the wall. You should be able to press on any stone in the wall and not have any movement. Since you have two faces of the wall, it's important to lock the stones together. My two feet together are like fingers lacing together so that the stones will overlap over one another and lock together. You can do that by having fruit stones, which will go from one face to the other. that with three quarter lap stones which will lap together partially throughout the wall. You can see the progression of the excavation phase where a five foot wide trench was excavated to a depth of two feet. Inside the trench was placed gravel which was spread out and packed every six inches. This created an extremely solid base upon which to lay the foundation stones. Once the packed gravel base was in place, we laid the foundation stones. The foundation stones are the biggest stones in the wall, designed to evenly distribute the weight of all the stones above. With the foundation of the wall in place, we built batter boards on top of the foundation. Batter boards serve two purposes. When lines are strung between the batter boards at either end of the wall, it gives you a perfectly straight line to which you will build the wall. This maintains a perfectly straight wall. As you sight down two lines strung between the batter boards, matching up these lines with your eye will give you the batter of the wall. This batter gives the wall stability and strength as well as a nice appearance.
We have been working on the project now for a little over two months. We have 160 feet of the wall mostly built to a height of six feet. We have about 15 feet of caps placed on the wall and we have started to build the cheek in at one end of the wall as well. I will be posting a new video as soon as this portion of the wall has been completely built so that I can show you what the fully capped wall looks like and what the cheek end looks like at the end of the wall and I'll keep you posted with more progress. Thanks for watching. Please take a look at other projects that Solid Masonry has done. You can see them on our website at www.solidmasonry.ca